a little damp, but nothing heavy. So the traffic and so forth and not having to bring an umbrella with you into the game should be fine. But it'll be a little damp and a little cloudy over the next couple of days. So just put you in the holiday spirit, right? Sure. Eat a lot of food, take a nice nap tomorrow or two or three naps and eat some more food and maybe watch a movie or two. Next Gen Live, uh, this is the drizzle that it's showing up as uh, not much in the way of uh, drizzle. Uh, a little heavier here earlier that kind of wet the pavement, but this is kind of a nuisance type of rainfall. It's not amounting to much, just wets everything down. but. Again, it's not going to help us with the drought. 50 degrees, a southeast wind at around uh, 15 miles an hour, that dew point 50. So when the air and the humidity or the dew point meet, 100% relative humidity. So unless we dry the air, we will not cool down. And with a southeast wind bringing in more moisture, we're stuck in place. Temperatures will not budge here this evening. What you see is what you get with those cloudy skies. So one weather system moving across. There's that little piece of energy right here. Look at over the mountains uh, bringing in the clouds, that jet stream energy. And then here comes the second half of the storm system. But you notice it's diving north to south. It's not heading to the east. It's going to cut off from the main jet stream and spin its way slowly from New Mexico to the east over the next uh, 48 hours. So tomorrow's setup, if you're wondering, you know, going to grandma's house, going to the family house, or uh, just inviting people over, a little bit of rain in eastern Oklahoma, but overall, we're kind of in between the two weather systems here across the state, okay? Heavier rain, showers and thunderstorms, Little Rock down towards Shreveport, mainly east of the Metroplex here in Dallas, but Dallas will be a little wet through the portion of the day. Drier air will move in here across the state, so not much in the way of rain, maybe some drizzle, and then that upper level low will be parked across portions of New Mexico with heavy rains or heavy mountain snows and some rain starting to break out west of Amarillo, Lubbock and Midland. So again, not bad for Thanksgiving Day in traveling. Here this evening, like we mentioned, some drizzle around, some spotty showers from Sulphur to Ada to Tulsa down towards uh, Durant, and then more showers and thunderstorms will develop as that main weather system moves out here late tonight into tomorrow morning. A couple rumbles of thunder are possible with these uh, showers and thunderstorms that will develop. And you can see from I-35 to the east, especially from Tulsa down towards McAllister and Denison, the Dallas-Fort Worth area, wet tomorrow morning. Some lingering showers drizzle first thing Thanksgiving Day by Thanksgiving tomorrow afternoon. Cloudy skies, a chilly north wind, but mainly on the dry side. And then that next weather system will, won't come in until late Friday night into Saturday. Rainfall anywhere from quarter to maybe a three quarters of an inch with that rainfall, those showers and thunderstorms off to the east. Otherwise, barely a hundredth of an inch. It might be wet, but it's not going to amount to much. The next wave comes in maybe a half an inch to an inch of rain of a cold rain that comes in late Friday night into Saturday, as it looks like right now with the timing of this weather event. It has slowed down a little bit. It looked like it was going to come more Friday evening and Friday night. The latest data says maybe late, late Friday night and throughout the day on Saturday. So that would cool us down on Saturday and keep it a wet, raw day. But again, we'll have to wait and see on the timing of that event. Upper 40s to low 50s, a lot of drizzle around the clouds, a south breeze, and then late overnight, a cold front will move through and that will push the moisture off towards the south. And a lot of showers and thunderstorms if you're heading in eastern Oklahoma. Drier conditions. Late morning into the afternoon hours for tomorrow is that north wind brings in the drier air. Temperatures still cool. Will not warm up much with a cloud cover and the north winds barely make it into the low to mid 50s. Here across Oklahoma City, mainly dry morning drizzle shower. North winds, temperatures into the 50s. Upper 40s, a chilly northeast wind that'll pick up throughout the day on Friday. Rain array arrives late afternoon into the evening hours. I might have to push this back a little bit later than afternoon evening into the overnight looking at the latest data. But nonetheless, period of rain will move across the state Friday night into Saturday. It's going to be cold rain. Any snow looks to be out in the panhandle, maybe a couple wet snowflakes in far western Oklahoma Saturday morning, but it's going to be a chilly rain. And then we dry out and see more sunshine for Sunday, Monday, and maybe some upper 60s on Tuesday.